So as of this recording, the Silent Hill 2 remake is just about a month away from release. So today I thought it would be a fun idea to go over how to put not just the original version of Silent Hill 2, but arguably the best version of the original Silent Hill 2 on your Steam Deck so you can check it out there. And beyond that, I'll also showcase a little bit of Silent Hill 2 running on the Steam Deck so you can get an idea of what the performance is like, and then finally just leave you with a few of my personal and final thoughts about Silent Hill 2 as we race towards the remake's release date. But first, let's go ahead and check out how to actually get this thing installed on your Steam Deck. So before you can put Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition on your Steam Deck, first you have to have access to an original unmodified copy of Silent Hill 2 for PC. Now sadly, the original PC version for Silent Hill 2 is no longer for sale, so you'll have to acquire a copy somehow else. I can't link you to where you might find that, what I will say is that if you have access to a search engine, you'll probably be able to find a copy of it fairly easily. Now, some people will claim that Silent Hill 2 for PC is abandonware, but honestly, I'm not even sure if abandonware is a real word, and I'm definitely not a legal expert, so do with that what you will. So if that is the route you intend to go where you acquire a copy of Silent Hill 2 for PC somehow, just make sure that you use the fully extracted version and not the installer that would have three different ISOs to mount. I mean, technically you can do it, but it will take a little bit of extra work and honestly it's just easier to use the extracted files. However, I will say if you do decide to go the conventional installation route and actually mount those three ISOs and go through the process that way, uh, just make sure you do not install DirectX 8.1, I believe you don't need it. Also, whenever you do go to place those Silent Hill 2 installation files on your Steam Deck whenever you're in desktop mode, just make sure that whatever directory you put it in does not have spaces. I'll explain that in a little bit. Alright, so we've established that you need an original unmodified copy of Silent Hill 2 for this, but the second piece of this puzzle is to get the Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition executable. Now this I actually can link you to, and I put a link to the site down in the description below this video. Once you visit their site, click on the Download and Usage section at the top of the page. Step 1 on this page covers installing Silent Hill 2 in a generic way, but doesn't really give you any explicit Steam Deck instructions. And then Step 2 on this page, a little bit further down, actually has the download link to the sh2ee setup.exe, which is what you'll want to download. Now that you have the files you need, you'll need to be in desktop mode on your Steam Deck. First, if you haven't already, place the vanilla Silent Hill 2 files for the game into an easily accessible directory. Also, do not put any spaces in any of the folder names leading to this directory. You can see here that I've placed the files on my SD card in the PC games backslash Silent Hill 2 folder, and there aren't any spaces in the file path. With your files in place, now right click on the sh2ee setup.exe file and choose Add to Steam. Now open up the Steam desktop client and find the sh2ee setup executable in your library. Before you start the Enhanced Edition by clicking the Play button, first click on the gear icon on the right and go to Properties, and then click on the Compatibility section in the left-hand list. Then in the main window, check the box to force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and set the drop-down to Proton Experimental. Now you can click on the X to close this dialog, and finally click on the green Play button to start the installer. When the installer completes, it will give you an alert that you can basically use the same shortcut you've already built to launch the game. You actually have a couple of options here. You can leave the shortcut pointing to the setup tool if you'd like to always tweak the game before it launches, or if you want the game to launch immediately whenever you click on play, you can follow the alert's advice and update the shortcut to point directly to sh2pc.exe so Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition launches every time. That's personally what I opted for. Overall, the installation process is pretty straightforward, and I didn't encounter any major difficulties except for one in which a random Redditor definitely saved me. The problem that I ran into was after I completed the installation of the Enhanced Edition mod, even though it launched the game when I told it to do so, if I closed it and then tried to relaunch the game, it wouldn't come back up. So at first I thought maybe I need to adjust the Proton version in use or something like that, or maybe I've just hit some weird bug that's you know preventing this thing from launching again. As it turns out, somebody discovered that for whatever reason, the Steam Deck does not like when you have spaces and the file names of non-Steam applications when you add them. At first, I was a little bit skeptical of this advice, but sure enough, I went back and took all the spaces out of my folder location, and then I was able to launch the game or relaunch the setup utility without any issues whatsoever, so yeah. I have no idea if you'll ever see this degenerated, but thank you so much for the heads up, because that probably saved me a whole lot of frustration. And finally, before you jump back into the Steam Deck's game mode to go ahead and launch Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition and start playing and enjoying it, you'll probably want to do a little bit of cleanup here and just rename the entry in your library first, and then also download, you know, some images from, like, Steam Grid DB that, you know, will actually make it look very pretty in the interface and all that good stuff. So now that we talked about how to install this thing, how is it actually playing Silent Hill 2 on the Steam Deck? Well, I've already beaten this version of Silent Hill 2 on the ROG Ally, but this was my first time trying out the PC version on the Steam Deck. 
And while the setup is definitely a little more difficult on the deck than a Windows-based ally, the gameplay experience itself is largely the same. For starters, the frame rate stays at a consistent 60fps throughout. So far I've played up to and a little bit beyond the portion of the game where you get the flashlight and have had no issues with frame dips at all. And this was also true in the opening sequence which has some of the heaviest fog in the game. I thought I might encounter some graphical weirdness or slowdown here, but nope, so far as I can tell it all remained rock solid. The other concern that I had was that maybe using an external controller in dock mode would give me issues. I can't remember if it was through emulation on Silent Hill 2 or 3, but I definitely remember playing some Silent Hill version on the deck that worked fine whenever I used the Steam Deck's built-in controls, but required some tinkering either in the Steam Deck settings or possibly in PCSX2 to get an external controller that was connected to work properly. But thankfully that was not the case here, and it worked immediately without any tweaks whatsoever. Also, as a quick aside, in this version of the game you can disable tank style controls if you want using the in-game menu, but I probably wouldn't recommend it since the switching of static camera angles might be disorienting, but hey, if that's what works best for you, by all means set it to whatever you'd like. Also, another mercy of the PC edition of Silent Hill 2 is that you can save your game whenever, instead of just using the red squares if you wish. If you're old hat at this or a fellow content creator, this is definitely a nice inclusion if you just want to save at specific points to either enjoy the ambiance of a particular area, or if you just have to revisit a lot of specific sections for capturing footage or something. Or if you're a new player, or maybe someone who's just not very familiar with the survival, or I guess I should say psychological horror genre, and you just want to defang the difficulty on Silent Hill 2 a little bit, by all means, save whenever you would like. It's not an incredibly difficult game to begin with or anything like that, but, you know, there's no reason not to take advantage of infinite saves if you would like to. As far as the Enhanced Edition specific advantages go, the biggest is support for widescreen and 60 frames per second. Beyond that, they've improved shadows in the environment, sharpened and improved the image quality, and just generally done a shocking amount of optimization to make this my personal definitive version of the game. And that's not me throwing shade at the original PS2 version or anything, like if you have an original PS2 copy and OG hardware, that is an amazing way to experience Silent Hill 2. I'm just saying that in the modern age, this definitely makes Silent Hill 2's original vision more accessible. Especially for people who don't have a PS2, and what is a very expensive game at this point, or just don't want to fool with emulation. For a full breakdown of every advantage the Enhanced Edition has over the original, check out their website and explore the About the Project section, where they have a whole slew of videos that break down every single improvement, and it is completely fascinating if you're into that sort of thing. However, I would say if you're a completely new player to Silent Hill 2, then definitely don't watch these videos yet, because they will be chock full of spoilers. So now I think we're kind of at a weird Ian Malcolm-esque kind of impasse, right? Because I feel like we spent so much time talking about whether you can play Silent Hill 2 on the Steam Deck and how to make that possible that we haven't really stopped to consider whether we should. Or I guess more to the point, should you go ahead and play the original Silent Hill 2 now, or should you just hold off and check out the Silent Hill 2 remake? And that ended up being a more difficult question to answer than I thought it'd be. The rabid fanboy in me says of course you just drop everything you're doing and go play the original Silent Hill 2 right now. But the more rational Silent Hill 2 player in me realizes that some people just can't stand tank controls, or the more sluggish survival horror experiences of yesteryear just aren't that appealing. And even if they do love a good horror story, Silent Hill 2 is still a video game first, meaning that you will have to deal with those video gamey elements to fully engage with it. So I'd say this, if you're already a fan then why not jump in again before the remake drops? You already know what happens, and if it's been a while you might enjoy the spooky feeling of returning to Silent Hill, and potentially in a whole new way if you've never tried the Enhanced Edition. If you're a new player who loves horror and you're comfortable with the increased friction of retro titles, it will definitely be fulfilling to experience the original version and then see how the characters, locations, and even the iconic music and sounds from Silent Hill 2 are updated in the remake. But if your tastes are more modern and you'd rather experience the Silent Hill 2 story and what will technically give you the greatest fidelity for exploring Silent Hill, and you're not really into retro stuff, then by all means just wait and play the remake. After all, if you end up really enjoying the remake, then there's no reason that you can't go back and enjoy the original someday to better appreciate the merits of both. And honestly, I could probably talk about Silent Hill 2 for hours since it is one of my favorite games of all time, but I think that's probably enough for now. So hopefully you found this helpful if you are looking to experience Silent Hill 2 for the first time, or maybe if you're just trying to experience the original Silent Hill 2 on your Steam Deck for the first time. But yeah, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, or advice, if you're somebody who's already done this yourself, please do let me know in the comments below. As far as what's coming up on the channel, I will be doing a Games Coming Out in September video in a few days, I believe. And then next week, I'll be very excited to check out some more emulation stuff, specifically within the realm of archaic and be doing some meme stuff so yeah that's it for this one as always thank you so much for your time and hanging out here on the channel i really really appreciate it take care and i'll see you on the next one bye